You need a new light bulb, but there are so many things to pay attention to nowadays. In the old days, you went to a light store or grocery store or hardware store and you got a light bulb that said 45 watts. You knew when you got it home, it's going to be kind of a soft yellow light. It's going to be a dimly lit bulb. If you wanted a bright room, you got a 100 watt bulb and you threw that bad boy in there and you lit up the room. Well, CRI is one of the indications on the back of a label that you need to pay attention to. It stands for Color Rendering Index and is the rating from 0 to 100 how closely that light bulb will actually show natural sunlight and how vibrant it will show the colors in the room you're putting it in. Let's dig into it. Have you ever wondered why some rooms feel vibrant and alive while others appear dull and lifeless? It's all about the lighting and today we're going to shed some light on a crucial concept, the color rendering index or CRI. Understanding CRI is essential for selecting the right bulbs for any room or setting. Imagine walking into a room like this one. The lighting is dim, the colors are faded. That's because the light bulbs used here have a low CRI rating. CRI measures how accurately a light source reveals the true colors of objects compared to natural sunlight. CRI is measured on a scale from 0 to 100. The higher CRI means better color accuracy, while lower CRI means colors may appear distorted or washed out. Now, let's step into a different room. Look at these fresh fruits and vegetables. Don't they look appetizing? The high CRI bulbs used here accurately showcase the vibrant colors of these objects, making the space inviting and lively. When shopping for light bulbs, you'll notice that different types have varying CRI ratings. You'll see on the box it might say 2700K or 5000K or even 9000K. The K stands for Kelvin, and Kelvin is a measurement used to describe the color temperature of a light source. The higher Kelvin temperatures are what we consider cool and the lower color temperatures are considered warm. So a 2700K light will be a warm white and a 5500K light will be a cool white. Cool whites are sometimes known to also have a, a blue hue or a blue temperature. Incandescent bulbs, for example, have a near perfect CRI of 100 as they closely mimic sunlight. However, they are not energy efficient. On the other hand, LED bulbs, which are more energy efficient, can have a wide range of CRI ratings, so it is essential to check the packaging. The desired atmosphere of a room also influences the choices of light bulbs. For spaces where relaxation and coziness are paramount, warmer light temperatures, measured in Kelvin, are preferred. Warmer light bulbs create a cozy ambiance, perfect for bedrooms or living rooms. Conversely, spaces that require focused attention, like offices or kitchens, benefit from cooler light temperatures. Cool white or daylight bulbs provide a crisp and vibrant illumination, enhancing productivity and concentration. Remember, the color of light can dramatically affect how we perceive objects and spaces. So, when selecting light bulbs, take into account the room's function, the desired atmosphere, and the CRI rating. In summary, the color rendering index or CRI determines how accurately a light source reveals the true colors compared to the natural sunlight. The higher CRI rating ensures better color accuracy, while lower rating may lead to distorted or washed out colors. For best results, pay attention to the light bulb's CRI rating when considering the room's function and desired atmosphere. So the next time you're choosing light bulbs, remember the power of CRI and how it can transform your space. By selecting the right light bulbs with a suitable CRI rating, you can create vibrant, welcoming, and visually pleasing environments. I hope you learned something today about the CRI rating and the how it pertains to the light bulb you need to choose for your specific needs. I'm gonna leave a link here to explaining Kelvins and explaining lumens and what else you need to pay attention to. There's a lot nowadays. It's not just about watts anymore. Watts are kind of a thing of the past. It's all about the lumens, the candela, the Kelvin, the CRI about a lot of different things and I'm here to help you guide you through that journey of the light bulb choices. That's about it for me today guys. I'm Charlie. I'll see you in the next video.